on board here, board. Let's get this over with. <laughs> well, look who's here. New recruits. Well, <laughs> let's fuck some shit up. Alright, let's cut to Izuku. In which, he has not moved from that spot. As he slowly sees Cole's body start to crumble away beneath them. As the winds just carry off his ashes. Izuku can't help but cry and demand that Cole stop kidding. Please come back. Because... Though, yes, uh, the whole him being a conduit slash quirk gene wielder, it was a big surprise to him. The only thing is, this guy, this guy, this complete stranger, all by chance, showed me that I could still be a hero. He gave me the power I needed and unlocked something I didn't even know I had, let alone could utilize. Is it Recovery Girl? She's holding back her tears, trying to be more strong for Izuku. It's harder for her, considering that she knew him a lot longer, even when she knows at least knew this was going to happen, it doesn't take away the pain of it. As then she sees something. What is that? Izuku still crying. His eyes are shut. Is, what are you talking about? That. He's even looking at where Cole's body used to be. He sees this blue shimmering light. And picking it up, not realizing what it is, he accidentally absorbs a blast core. As soon as he does, he realizes there was a lot more that he could possibly learn how to do. From... Yes, causing God on to God's storms, using lightning to travel far more efficiently, which to him is like what? Plus, you gotta consider the fact that what knowledge Cole didn't tell him about. Okay. I don't have all the whole picture, but I know enough. His recovery girl asks if he's alright. Time will tell if I'm truly alright again. Him walking off. So, I guess I'll get ready for my Antrix exam. Goodbye. Uh, wait, what about... Don't worry. I... I'll do as Cole requested. I'll make sure the race spheres are properly taken care of. No, you can't destroy them. I know. But that doesn't mean I have to use them. And if you have to... Is Izuku just stay silent, him walking away? Recovery girl... Sensing... How this really hit Izuku hard... Yeah, it hit him hard. Now, when it comes to the entrance exam, theoretical easy. He aces it. 
practical, he is calling forth lightning strikes and destroying each and every robot with precise and very calculated attacks. He's using his electrical, you could say, scanner or whatnot to sense the electronics moving as well as the electricity flowing through the said robots, in which he uses that to pinpoint their location and call down a lightning strike. Everyone pretty much didn't get many points at all, to a point where Izuku would be the only one who was able to pass. So they had to cancel the rest of it because Izuku took so many points that they will have to get robots from the other testing facilities just to give other people a chance. Izuku being able to leave early. Which he has told Inko that Cole is no longer with us. Her first thinking, oh, like he moved, but seeing Izuku's expression, when he said that, he meant, yeah, I'm not going to see him again. That pretty much uh, instilling, like, yeah, he's gone. Gone. Izuku not wanting his mom to really get roped into this. But he realizes, wait, no, no, she's... <sighs> Ooh, what am I kidding? The fact that I know about these, the fact that I have them in my possession, she's already a target. So instead of keeping this all a secret here, he tells Inko that he has the ray spheres. He wants her to be very prepared for... Anything that could happen. And I mean anything. The whole fact that he has these things makes him a very uh, sought after target for assassination and possible people wanting to hurt him or get him to hand them over. Him giving her a full explanation, this actually cutting a few dots when it comes to how he suddenly got a quirk. She asking if he's a conduit, or is that really a quirk, him telling her both. Her not really believing it until he actually does explain, and calls up Recovery Girl, just so, like, yeah, if you don't believe, if you think I'm lying, ugh, she won't, she most likely would never lie. Recovery Girl does smack Izuku up beside the head for Spilling the secret, but she also understands why. And seeing that was pretty much like, oh, wait, so he really wasn't supposed to tell me this. Yeah. It was supposed to be a secret secret. So Inko does end up believing him, but also worried about the potential type of people who will be coming after her and her son. Especially her son. Him pretty much instilling her little fear, but also subsiding it once she, she learns about his capabilities. He can heal himself, as well as others, to a certain extent. When it comes to life-threatening injuries, ugh, that's uh, another can of worms. But one thing he does want her to know is that... Worst comes to worst, he may have to use a ray sphere. Or he may have to do something he never really considered possible until after absorbing that blast shard. Electricity bestowment. In which this is an honest to God ability that someone with electric based powers can do what this actually does is allow just as it says the user of the electricity to bestow these abilities onto someone else depending on the level of mastery it can be permanent or temporary 
It all depends on how skilled the person is. Only thing is, Isiku's never done this before. He doesn't know what would happen if he used it on someone with a quirk gene, let alone a conduit gene that hasn't been activated. Lucky for him, he can still recharge, but he doesn't need to as long as he has time. He doesn't know how it's going to affect anyone else, so it's honestly God for him a last resort, no choice type of thing. But considering he can move through storms and whatnot, well, given enough practice, he probably won't have to worry about doing such a thing. Now, when he learns that he did get first place, he feels good about it and everything, but he's always on edge to a certain extent. He doesn't know who could be after these race fears. He doesn't uh, fully understand how dangerous, or the very least, how uh, things could be very problematic if he's not careful. One thing's for certain. Worst comes to worst. The amount of destruction capable by one of those things may come in handy. He just wanted to make sure that he's the only one there besides his uh, enemies. Even then, what if he ends up making the conduit? Easy group was lucky having both genes merged like that. But he still doesn't understand how that was possible. Yeah, having a conduit gene, yeah, that's gotta be activated. Somewhat by, you know, being in contact with your element. That's no no brainer. However, the fact that his Quirk gene, at least the slot where his quirk should be, was empty. That's more of a wait a minute. So, at the very least, Izuku is uh, a lot more cautious, a lot more someone who will think things through a lot more compared to how he would in canon. He's not overly cautious to the point where he's Batman level of paranoid, but he is enough to the point where he's not going to fully tell you anything unless he 100% trusts you like he does Inko. Anywho, when it comes to Izuku, actually going to UA he does see Kasuki and whatnot. he's more different he doesn't really worry about him if at all he does somewhat think about them as possible friends again it's just very unlikely in this day and age but still he does try to be friendly when it comes to Ida, yes, he does do the whole thing about him being a good with his quirk. He is just a little peed considering he had to restart the whole test just with Izuku not in it. So, <laughs> he's just a little salty considering Izuku was just taking all the points and him describing how powerful Izuku's quirk is. Kaminari does ask him, like, how... Did you get so good at using your quirk? And as well as several other gajillion questions that would get on anyone's nerves. Izuku still being somewhat of a quirk nerd. And having to classify his uh, condiment slash quirk abilities as a only one quirk. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much a little bit more difficult for him to explain. 
but he does have a good enough excuse. Training, trying to find out other ways that his quirk itself can be used, as he does name a few more able to do things he can do what is quirk well someone else can possibly do when they're training. This actually again Karnari to actually consider his quirk as not as much of a bummer as it really is. To the point where he's actually curious he I mean he already guessed that his quirk was a uh, electricity type but what okay. uh, Oh, uh, do you really want to know? Uh, sure. Him describing it. He said it was pretty much. Huh. Yeah, you just need some more training. I'm pretty sure you can do a lot with it. I mean, uh, um. It will definitely take some hard work and dedication. Yes, yes. But, hmm, I'm sure you can at least create a, you know, electro field around yourself as defense and offense. Is that he just summons electricity from his hand and just makes a electro whip? Kamari being even more interested in the only thing is he knows if he tries it, chances are he's gonna short circuit and fry his brain. But Izuku actually has an idea. Kamari using his electricity on Izuku to the highest of his ability. Uh, okay, fine, the lowest. Um, are you sure? I don't wind up hurting you. Oh, believe me. If anything, you'll just give me a boost in power. At the least, a boost. Okay. Coming over shooting as much electricity as he can to Izuku. Izuku actually absorbing it. But then he notices it starts to shift and change from yellow to blue to a slight tint of green as Izuku shoots it back, right back to Kaminari, and he's feeling this. Izuku's not getting hurt, and Kaminari is, for him it's more like a euphoric sensation. Not so much that he, he passes out. But just enough so he actually gets more of a feel for his electricity. Uh, well, let's see how this works while I try to bestow upon uh, another electricity user. As yes, but as soon as he's is done, Kamen already feels good. To the point where his hair changes color to blue. Him feeling like he's a lot stronger for some reason than Izuku. Okay. Let's see if our, my theory is correct. <sighs> well, man, that took a lot more out of me than I thought. What did you do to me? Well, it turns out I can actually bestow, at least in theory, electric based powers him saying this in front of everybody Bogo thinks he's full of it cause there's no way you can give someone powers oh no I I can no that, that's impossible there's no way you can bestow powers onto somebody that's that's not a thing Tamari Let's see, how high was your voltage before? I'm just giving a random number. Oh, okay. Now, I say for that much output, you can make a this 
such and such size hole in this wall. But if I'm correct, you should be able to take you down this entire wall white right here. Uh, what? Would you like to try it? No, he won't. Uh, I suppose. Uh, wait. Doria? Oh yeah, I forgot you were in this class. Everyone's like, y'all know each other? Well, more or less. We met through Recovery Girl. Yeah. So, still being reckless? Do I need to tell her about this? Uh, wait, no! Show mercy! Oh, I don't know. I'll see how it benefits me in any way. Please. She will kill me. Still not seeing how that's my problem. If you're the one being reckless. Uh, what are your demands? Undo what you did to Danky. We have a quirk assessment test. I would like him to use his own power, not power has been given to him by you. But I, I know this is one of your little tests on how you could utilize your quirk, but still, you could do that on your own time. Right now, this is my time. <sighs> Sorry, Dinky. What? Wait, 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 wait. At least let me use the power to know why, where I want to be. Him play with as I was like, please. Uh, you know I could expel you right here, right now, right? Him putting on the puppy dog eyes is, is, oh, is, is, come on, don't do that. You look pathetic. He's a goo. Come on. As a teacher, you're supposed to encourage your students. You smart ass bastard. Well, no need for name calling, Sensei. Oh, I don't get paid enough for this. Fine. Fine, whatever. But I will warn you. I mean it. Uh, uh, what? If you can't reach this power through your own means without someone giving it to you, you're expelled. <coughs> But I, uh, I, I, what? You're serious? As a heart attack. Well, uh, him looking at Izuku like, are you sure I can do that? That I can, I have power. Right? Uh, yeah? Uh, uh, oh, you sure? Yes. Okay. Okay, good, good. But are you positive that I don't want to get expelled? <laughs> Trust me. This power is up obtainable for you. Yeah, my word. Uh, okay. Alright. Fine. As yes, the amount of power he uses via the boost you gave him is astronomical. Well, not really. Let's just say uh, he want, he's going to want to train a lot more 
seriously to get to that level. Izuku having more practice with it, as well as a lot more finesse and technique and whatnot. He far exceeds anyone's expectation. He just dominates. Bongo wants to take him out, but he can't. Izuku's already there and trips him up. And that is how that whole whatchamacallit ends. Now, as for the heroes versus villains, it's actually All Might and Tenko. Which they look at Izuku. Izuku's like, oh, so what, now you want a rematch? Uh, no. No, 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 no. That's, that's not at all what I'm asking for. Um, you see, you see me, me and Mr. All Might, you know, we're just gonna, you know, uh, be a part of your hero training. That, that's all. It's just, you know. It's almost just looks at it like you don't have to be so, you know, scared. Uh, oh, yeah, right. Uh, it's just. Don't worry, Tanko. If anything, you were just as much as a hero as I am. You're just not that. Hmm. How should I put this? Confident? Well, yeah, you're not that confident. You're still a bit worried about you being uh, worried to hurt people. But you, you got better at your control. I mean, as long as you keep your gloves on, you know. Uh, right. Thank you, uh, Uncle Mike. Uh huh. No problem. The teams are actually still gonna be the same. Only thing is, Izuku, he's just like, okay, do you want this done the easy way or the medium way? What's the difference? I have the electrical layout of this entire building already. What? Yeah. And I can just pinpoint exactly where Ida and the bomb are in which all we have to do is use your zero gravity or me just climbing up there to catch the bomb only thing is someone's gonna have to be here to distract bomb go so I'd rather you go for the bomb uh well um I'll take that as a yes Izuku pretty much tell her exactly which floor it is, as well as where Ida is when it comes to him, you know, trying to make up a plan with Bakugo. But the only thing is, Izuku underestimated the fact that Ida would at least grab Bakugo's attention just enough so he wouldn't just go off running off like a wild boar. So, by the time Raga actually does get to the bomb, Bago is just now heading downstairs. So, when she touches it, Hero Team wins, Bago doesn't get to fight. And Ida is pretty much confused to how in the world did you do that? So, Bago is pissed. As he should be. When it comes to Oraya, she is pretty much feeling like her quirk is more useful than she thought, despite her obvious drawbacks. When it comes to Bago trying to leave, Izuku does actually want to, uh, you know, stop him. But all he says is, uh, if you give up that easy, you had no right to be a hero. And leaving it at that. Bongo has no words to say. Is he going to give up that easy? Or is he going to break through and try to beat this bastard? 
it's all on him. Yo, if he doesn't become a hero because he walks out, that's not his fault. That's his for giving up. And that makes it so much worse. So, Bogo doesn't upstay. Now, as far as it goes for the whole USJ attack, Izuku, knowing that he is the honest to God fastest, he wants to be the one to actually go get help. The only thing is, he knows that uh, people are going to need his help here, so he does end up sending Ida, while he really deals with the villains easily, conjuring storm clouds and raining down God's judgment. In which, yes, he really just calls that move smiting. He, uh, he knows he might go to hell for naming his move that, but he's, uh, you know what, seriously, if he, if he has a problem with it, I will pay for it in the afterlife. When it comes to Shigaraki, since he was pretty much taken in by All Might and whatnot, yeah, it's actually uh, Toya. Yes, Dabe. He's here this time. You see, all for one knew like not every hero had a good family. He just needed to pick and choose which ones would be the most vulnerable, and Toya. Yeah, he was the runner-up. He was thinking about overhaul, all things considered, with his quarter, but I was like, nah. Nah, it's fine. So, yes. But when it comes to his appearance, he still looks like a regular Dobby, but when he fights Sh Shoto, he goes straight for him, specifically. When it comes to the Nomu, it, they still have it. It's still there to kill All Might. Only thing is Zuku, thanks to his smiting technique, super move, he insta-kills it once he realizes, yeah, that thing is not human. But then he looks at Kodagiri and realizes, okay, wait a minute. Huh. That, that, something's not right with you either. And about to one shot kill Kodagiri, Dobby having no choice but to turn his attention to Izuku now. And uh, this fight is a little bit more difficult considering that, yeah, T Toya, he's more or less, hell, I don't care about these villains. I will torch everyone. To reach my goal. I don't need allies. For all I care. They're kindling. Izuku. He can't go all out. All out. He can't just. Go flash stepping everywhere. Going full force in his attacks. Because he knows that people could get hurt. Or worse. With his power. So Dobby going all out. And Izuku limiting himself to a certain extent. This battle goes on for a lot longer than it should. Much to the point where All Might does actually show up. And Toyo's like, you know what? I... This is it for me. Go to Gary and Dobby leaving. But not before Dobby actually has a smug grin on his face. As he looks at Shoto one more time. Oh, man, that was a pain. Thank you for showing up on my special you did. No problem. But if anything, I've seen what you could do. Why could you, seeing the amount of destruction from their battles, never mind. Never mind, I understand what I understand now. 
You practically had no choice. I'm sorry for that. That's why I was here. Yeah, it's kind of your fault, all things considered. <coughs> Seriously. You got so caught up in your heel work again. Didn't you? You started pretty much saving anyone from someone about to get hit by a car to a robbery to maybe a kitten in the tree. Uh, I, uh, you were late to work. Yeah, yes. <sighs> Listen, oh my, you gotta remember. You're not just a hero anymore, you're also an educator. So you have to manage your time more wisely. Uh, right. Toya pretty much smirking and laughing is like, yeah, you can't. I can't believe you're getting told off by a kid. Uh, uh, mm. uh, well, uh. Huh. Uh, either way, uh, what's this? What's the thing about this here? Uh, what, what's uh, going on with that? Is it good trying to to that what's going on here? To a certain extent, like obviously they were here to kill All Might, and hell, why not a few students along the way? It's pretty much the fact that this thing looked abnormally. Hmm. It wasn't human, or at least it used to be, but not anymore. For some reason, it's almost like it was manufactured somehow. All my hearing is like, no, 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 <laughs> no, that's not possible. No, no, it's possible. I just don't know how. Hmm. Uh, what if someone was able to give and or at least bestow quirks like like my power what wait you can give well, well this guy, technically I could but uh, <laughs> hmm hmm Yeah. But yeah, what if someone was actually able to do that? <sighs> okay. Huh. If anything, yeah. Perhaps if someone were able to do such a thing, definitely. But how? I don't know. Maybe they had one hell of a quirk or something. Yeah. Yeah, one hell of a quirk. Definitely. As yes, this is where the whole <laughs> USJ ends. All my wondering, like, how in the hell could so could he, unless. Does he have someone on the inside working for him? Or, uh, seriously, someone explain this to me. Cause let's just say Izuku doesn't really know about all for one or one for all. He knows he's, that All Might's power is special. At the very least, special. But not, uh... Not as special as we know it as canon. The only thing is, if all for one is gone, or he's supposed to be gone, they did lock him up, didn't they? Did they find him? What did they find? 
if anything at all? Very good questions, I must say. But that will be the end of this part. Very well.